Hi guys, picture this. Chris was always the one who everybody relied on, the shoulder to lean on. Growing up, he was the kid who shared his lunch, the teenager who lent his notes. Fast forward, Chris found himself in relationships where he was the giver and the forgiver. He met Lisa during college. They clicked instantly. But Lisa had a way of crossing lines. She canceled dates last minute, flirt with other guys at parties, and each time, Chris would forgive her when she came back with an apology. He believed in second chances, believed people could change. But the cycle continued. One night, Chris planned a special anniversary dinner. He waited for hours, but Lisa never showed up. The next day, she came with an apology and a story about a family emergency. And of course, Chris forgave her. But soon, he learned that she was actually out with friends and forgot their anniversary. This pattern continued, with Lisa pushing boundaries and Chris always forgiving, hoping for a change. But each apology from Lisa became a temporary fix, a band-aid over a major wound. There's something that continues in us from the time that we're children. People are always pushing the envelope to see where the boundaries lie. In doing that, they stumble, run into conflict, and are forced to make amends in the process. But just like the person that can't say no, someone that keeps forgiving people for pushing boundaries is one that often gets hurt the most. Does this describe the person you are? While I'm pretty sure you have a big heart, I'm also just as sure that it's bruised and broken because of all the people that you let trample over it. The one thing about an apology is, it's meant to be a fresh start. It's like a flag grounded in in the timeline of a relationship where two people decided that it was worth giving it a second chance. That's where a glimmer of hope comes from. And it's that hope that makes it slightly easier to repair what's broken and start again. But here's a fact about life. You can't do that every time. There's a Chinese proverb that a cup can only be repaired so many times before its cracks are too weak to hold anything. If you constantly feel hurt, betrayed, and taken advantage of by the same person, understand that their apologies are nothing more than a temporary adhesive to put you back together again, just like that Chinese porcelain cup, only to be broken again. And you know what's interesting? A person that forgives every time and a person that uses their apology as a tool of gaslighting and emotional manipulation have a cynical kind of codependency relationship. The person who forgives every time has a certain psychology behind their dependence on others for emotional validation and self-esteem. Forgiving other people is how they let go of that guilt they feel for holding a grudge. It stems from a fear of losing people, a need for emotional validation validation. This is why they're afraid of cutting ties, even though it's hurting them. This is where the pressure to forgive comes from. On the other hand, the person that uses their apology as a tool of emotional manipulation typically uses a tactic called guilt tripping. When you're not ready to forgive, they start making you feel bad about it. Saying things like, I said, I'm sorry, what more do you want from me? Or can't you just move on? This kind of pressure is a way to shift the blame onto you, making you feel like the bad guy for holding onto your feelings. There's a paradoxical truth about life. The people that are the closest to us have the most power to hurt us. That's why forgiving them for hurting you takes so much out of you. And that's exactly why you need to make sure that they even deserve your forgiveness in the first place. Don't trust their words and not even their actions. Trust their patterns of behavior. The longer a pattern goes on, the harder it is to fake it. And that's what makes it the only reliable metric for judging if they really deserve more and more chances to potentially hurt you again. Human beings are pattern recognition machines. We look for patterns in nature, in relationships, and in the world around us to understand it better. So apply that same instinct when dealing with people. When you know the fact that you have to sacrifice a part of yourself every time to keep forgiving, their pattern of behavior is the only thing that will show you how much of you needs to die in order to keep that relationship alive. The truth is, all of us make mistakes, and you can be damn sure that at some point you will be on the other side asking for forgiveness. But when you're finding the space in your heart to accept an apology, don't be shamed or guilted for deciding not to. You can't let others chip away at pieces of you every time just to make it up to you with a half-hearted apology because going that route, you can't survive for long anyway. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.